Hey guys, what is up? So today I have some really exciting news to share with you, and that is introducing the new 2022 Outback Wilderness Edition. So this is one that a lot of people have anticipated for many months now, and we finally have some, and so I'm excited to show that and go around all the details with you today. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy super related videos, then please be sure to click the subscribe button down below. And also, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to click the like button. That really helps me out. And if you have questions by the end of this video, then just leave a comment down below. So starting out, just looking at the outside of the Subaru Outback Wilderness Edition, you can see a couple of key things that are different appearance-wise than the other, your standard Outbacks. And just starting with a few is the black wheels, the uh, fender flares, the black cladding actually goes up a little bit more than the other vehicles have. And you also get the, the really cool badging, the Subaru Wilderness badging. So uh, you can kind of see that, the road leading through the mountains. That's really a really nice touch. You get the matte black mirror caps as well. And then they even have the anodized copper. It looks orange, but this anodized copper Outback logo here on the side skirt of the car as well. So the uh, Subaru Wilderness Edition isn't just an appearance package. I'll go over more of that in just a moment, but uh, it's not just an appearance package like some people may uh, believe. With the Wilderness Edition, you also get 9.5 inches of ground clearance. So from the bottom of the car to the ground, because there is a little over a three quarter of an inch adjustment in the increased height. So this does sit a little bit higher than your standard Outback. Your standard Outback has 8.7 inches of ground clearance. So with the wheels, these are 17 inch matte black alloy wheels six spoke style and they come with the Yokohama Geolandard all-terrain tires so this is really great for outdoors and and going to the trailhead and going to uh, going through the mountains the roof rails are different so in your traditional style outbacks you have the universal crossbars so I'll show a, a video of that for you guys so you can see what that looks like and how it compares to this so these are standard roof rails and you would have to buy additional crossbars if you want to utilize roof racks or anything that would require crossbars but it does have four tie down points so this is new for the wilderness edition and it has the uh, anodized copper orange finish uh, caps on all four corners so keeping the uh, the same wilderness edition unique color across the board this one also has a power moonroof you can get one with and without a power moonroof some people like it some people don't so you have that option in the wilderness edition coming around to the back you have the wilderness badge back here you also have the matte black outback logo and i think that's a really nice touch on cars like this that are white or silver or something that's going to create a lot of contrast between the the badging and the body color so Personally, I like that. Some people don't, but I do like the, the badging color and the contrast on this. So because the Outback Wilderness is supposed to be a more capable off-road vehicle than your standard Outback, it does come with the, uh, the anodized copper caps here, block them, but it has four tow hook mounts. So two in the rear and two up front, but that's for if you do get stuck in a ditch and you need to be pulled out, you've got those additional tow hook mounts. So up front, as I was saying, you do have those tow hook mounts up here as well. You get the matte black front grille. You also have a front facing camera on the wilderness edition. So that's nice when going up a hill or a trailhead and being in a narrow spot and not, not quite being able to see where you're going. That's also really helpful if you're parking in between two cars just for normal use in a, a grocery store parking lot or something like that. This car also comes with the LED fog lights. They're actually six individual LED fog lights. I'll show you what that looks like. And of course you have the standard LED Hawkeye looking front headlights with the steering responsive headlights in there as well. The front hood has this matte black decal on the front and this is actually unique to the Wilderness Edition. Some people look at it for an aesthetic appeal but it's actually also there to provide anti-glare on the front of the hood. So you've got the glossy finish right here and the matte black finish right here that prevents from the glare 
blinding the driver when they're going up or down steep hills. Under the hood, you have the 2.4 liter turbo with the top mount intercooler. This is the same engine that is in the Ascent and the Outback XT. So this is the same engine that they've carried over. However, they have reconfigured this a little bit because it is the Wilderness Edition and they are designed for more off-road capabilities. They have made the, uh, the RPM and the, the torque a little bit higher at lower end speeds. So whenever you are climbing a hill or descending, you've got more torque capabilities with this engine. It's, it is, the gear ratio is configured a little bit differently than your standard Outback XT or even your Ascent, which comes standard with a 2.4 turbo engine like this one. And for those of you who are curious, this engine has 260 horsepower compared to the standard 2.5 naturally aspirated engine that comes in all other Outbacks. And that one is rated at uh, 182 horsepower. So just like your other higher trim level packages in the Subaru line, this one does come standard with keyless access. If you wanna learn more about the keyless access features and the benefits of having this, then click on the YouTube card above to the top right. That'll send you to a video I made talking about this key fob and its features in more detail. Another cool thing with the keyless access key fob is that you also get the ability for remote start directly from your phone through the My Subaru app. It is a subscription, but it's a really low cost. It's like $75 starting out for the first three years. And this screen grab will show you exactly what the app looks like. If you have questions on it, just leave comments down below. Upon entering the car, you see that it has this uh, leather or leather-like material in it. It's actually not leather, it's called StarTex, which is a water repellent material. It's the same material that you see in the Onyx Edition Outback and also the Crosstrek Sport. So it is a, it looks and feels just like leather and they've actually included this nice Subaru Wilderness badge engraved into or stitched into the headrest and going down the the side of the seat you've got these dimples here and it looks like cloth but it is actually that StarTech water repellent material and it, it feels really nice and it, it's designed like that to help grip as you're driving so you're not sliding around whenever i was first filming this video i was trying to slide across the second row seats i'll show you here I was trying to slide across these and I noticed how it was really grippy and I actually didn't know that the design was like that to grip, but it makes sense after looking and doing the research on it that they would design it that way. So you can really tell when you're trying to slide across the seat that it, it doesn't really let you do so easily because of the grip and the design in the seat. You also get these really nice all-weather floor mats that are standard in the Wilderness Edition with, of course, the Wilderness logo on the mat. You also get these nice aluminum brush pedal covers that come on the Wilderness Edition. And these have individual rubber grips, so you get a little bit more grip as well than your standard pedals. This car also has the power adjustable seats to where you can move your seat to your desired uh, comfort and you have lumbar support also. Hopping in the car, this is one of my favorite things about the Wilderness Edition. You've got the push to start. And up here on the dash, you have the logo carried over on the digital display with the anodized copper orange around the bezel of your RPM and speedometer gauge. And in the interior, they do have the anodized copper finish here on the steering wheel and matching on your shift lever. All of your infotainment and display is the same as the other Outbacks in the 21 and 22 model line. Over here, you have your mirror controls, your power mirror for left and right controls. You have your lock and unlock, your automatic windows. So this does have four automatic windows, which means you can click up or click down once to open or close all four windows. And then right here, this just locks your rear window for keeping kids and animals from accidentally rolling it up or down. This does come with the blind spot detection. So that lights up that amber orange color whenever you've got somebody in the left or the right in your blind spot. Down below here, you've got the power rear gate. You have the LCD brightness adjustability. And then over here, you have the rear sensor 
uh, where you can turn that on or off. The rear sensor logo on your Subaru Outback will actually, you can wave past it and it will open hands-free, but some people like to turn that off, especially if you're going to be washing your car, you wanna make sure that is turned off because you don't wanna swipe your sponge past the logo and it accidentally start opening on you. One thing I forgot to mention on the seats, if you haven't already noticed, is that you do get up here on the dash and the seats, you get the orange stitching. So it is very subtle, but it's a nice touch to have that little anodized copper orange color carried on throughout the seat trim. This car does come standard with the EyeSight. These are the cameras on the left and the right that control your pre-collision warning and automatic braking and your adaptive cruise control. So this is actually standard on all 2021 and newer models. You can get a base trim or a higher trim level and all of them will have that feature. If you wanna learn more about these cruise control buttons and how that operates, then click on the YouTube card above. It'll send you to a video I made that shows you exactly how to set that up and how, how that works on your Subaru. And it's not a standard, but on all your new Outbacks, you do have the option to get the wireless charging. So you just set your phone down in this little hole here and it will wirelessly charge your, your phone. You do have two USB inputs as well where you can charge your phone and of course connect to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto to display your navigation up on the screen of the car. And here's the front facing camera. This isn't a standard. This is only on the Wilderness Edition and some other trim levels like your Limited and Touring. But it allows you to see up in front whenever you're climbing hills or just trying to find a parking space without hitting somebody. Moving on around to the back, you do have the keyless access key fob, which this car is also equipped with the power tailgate. So you click and hold this power tailgate button and it will open and you can also close the tailgate with that same button. There's also buttons on the inside of the hatch here. Uh, this will close the hatch and leave it unlocked. This will close the hatch and lock all the doors. And then you also get the LED, it's kind of hard to see uh, with the daylight, but you do get the LED hatch light as well as a standard on the Wilderness Edition. This one does have the cargo cover. I'm gonna unclick it here. So you've got it in place there, but you can also have it up here for taller items, but still having it covered in the back. This also comes out with the click of a button over here. So you can take that out if you want. You've got the cargo net, the all weather cargo tray, and this nice little hook that holds your floorboard up there while you are getting into the, the wheel well of the, the car back here. So you can actually store your cargo cover across here in these little inserts. So out of the way and seamlessly under the floorboard, you have your, your tools here necessary for a flat tire. And a lot of people will be happy to know that this comes with a full size spare. It has the Yokohama all-terrain tire on it. So it's the exact same specs as your, your regular wheel. And you can't see from this angle, but the other side of that is also color matched. So it is painted matte black to match your, your OEM wheel that is already on the outside of the car right here. So it's the same exact setup. A cool feature that this Outback has is the quick release lever here to drop the second row seats. So this is nice whenever you're trying to load up cargo and you don't want to have to reach up there to grab the uh, the button because there is a button also on the top of the, uh, the near the headrest that will allow you to release it. And then of course, it's not standard, but you get the option for this accessory, which is a rear seat back protector. It's an all weather protectant that is Velcroed to the back of the seat. So it protects the cloth material while you've got things loaded in here. And then if you need to clean them, you just pull them out, clean them off and let them dry and put them back in. The second row also has the center armrest and cup holders and you also get the rear heated seat. So the passengers back here have their rear heated seats and the vent controls with your charging ports. Everybody's gotta have their phone charged. So you've got that in the back to keep people satisfied who are sitting back here on short or even long trips. So that about wraps it up for today's video on the Wilderness Edition. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Do you like it? Is this one of the new models that you would consider or are there things that you don't like about it? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer that for you. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next one.